All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick hitter. This is Luke chapter 8 and 13. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in the time of temptation fall away. All right, now these are what you call fallout boys. All right, you even have women that will do the same. Okay, so you got brothers, men who will come in this truth, endure for a while, as the scriptures say, you know, they will receive the word with joy. You know, all smiles, giggles, you know, express how much they love the Lord, you know, even do some works. But it says, and these have no root, because why? They was never rooted, never rooted in the truth with sincerity and fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which for a while believe. So for a while they believe, man, that could be for a couple of years. All right. And in the time of temptation fall away all right in the time of temptation they fall away because they was never rooted in all reality they was never of the lord you see and um yahweh shah even said it here in matthews 15 and 13 but he answered and said every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up all right shall be rooted up <laughs> Okay, plucked out you know this is a bad time to uh, be tempted in the world when this world is passing away as Yahweh Shai said the fashion of this world passeth away okay you have um, we in quarantine we got forced vaccinations and chips coming you got bills being signed well will be signed where you know they're gonna be able to come to your house at a very moment in time like this but prophecies are actually taking place. Okay. You tempted in the world. That's foolish, man. All right. It says, which for a while believed and in the time of temptation falleth away. Now, we know the root word for temptation is tempt. This is uh, Marion Webster. Temptation, it says the act of tempting or the state of being tempted especially to evil enticement because if it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai you know then it's not of the, the, the guess what it's evil man all right uh how the scripture go let me get a quick preset real quick real quick I forgot how I go all right let's see here Right. Let me see. Yep, here you go. Uh, Romans 14 and 22. It says, Have thou faith, have it to thyself before the Most High. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the thing which he alloweth. All right. It says, And he that doubteth is damned if he eat. Because he eateth not with faith. Alright, so these guys that, you know, you know, heard the word with joy, but wasn't rooted, they never ate this word with faith. Having that sincere spirit and fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So it says, Because he eateth not with faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Alright? So the world is not of faith, is sin. Straight up, man. Okay, straight up. So going back to the word that the word temptation, the act of tempting or the state of being tempted, especially enticement. Oh, it's uh, especially to evil enticement. It says something tempting, a cause of occasion of enticement. So you enticed in the world, you're not gonna make it, bro. You're finished. You're finished, bro. All right. Um. 
Let's go back to Luke 18, uh, 8 and 13. It says, They on the rock which they on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in a time of temptation fall away. This is Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. You know, for us that are in the, in the faith, don't cast away your confidence, man. All right. Uh, Paul said it best. He said, uh, Romans 8. Let me get that real quick. Since I'm here, Romans 8 and 35. It says, Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right. You know, you can't say it no better than that. You know, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? You know, not tribulation, not distress, not persecution, not famine. And we're approaching a famine. OK, we're approaching, we're approaching a persecution. All right. We're approaching that, that, that dark hour, that, that dark hour. All right. It says Hebrews 10, 35, once again. Uh, cast not away therefore your confidence which have great recompense or reward because we got a great reward coming and that reward is salvation okay and we we right there we right there it says for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the most high ye might receive the promise okay the promise is salvation that was given okay that the lord said that his elect will receive the kingdom now it says, for ye have need of patience. Now we know the word patient means to suffer. This is why you have to be patient, you know, and 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 um and endure all the way to the end. As the scriptures say, the same shall be saved. All right. Verse 37. For yet a little while and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. <laughs> the Lord ain't tarrying, man. All right. It says now. The just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. And you can't save this man. All right. If it's not in him, having the willing spirit, all right, to do the shows, to be in his spirit. And he's tempted by the world, you know, by things, you know, that's enticing, that's enticement, enticement, enticing him. Then guess what? He's out of there. All right. We read what the Lord said. Um, about uh, let me see it. Let me go back. Matthew's fifteen once again. Uh, it says, but he answered and said, every plant which is, which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. All right. And that's the point I wanted to make again. I just didn't want to butcher it. But anyway, it says, um, Hebrews 10 and 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them. Who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Okay, the saving of the soul. Mm. 
check that out. <laughs> perdition. If you say that someone is on the road to perdition, you mean that their behavior is like to lead to failure and disaster. You see? And that's not us. All right. This is what we pray for. We fast. And while we do these works so that we don't fall back into perdition. So don't be of those that, that, that are tempted, you know, of the uh, being tempted of the world and fall back. Don't be the ones without root. Be rooted in, in, in this word. All right. You know, you're supposed to have a certain zeal, you know, and passion to teach these words, to teach the scriptures. Some days you might not have a lesson. You know, you might just go into your notes and pull out two, two scriptures and make a lesson like that, you know. But in our reality, if it's not inside you, then, you know, the most high basically have took it away. OK, or maybe you need to pray, you know, because the Lord said you receive not because you ask not. We all want to be increased at our last end. That's uh, Sirach, the, uh, uh, Sirach, the second chapter. All right. And, and of course, you know, we seek in mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You know, what, what else could we do to please the Lord to receive mercy? It's by doing his works. All right. You know, this is a time where it was never seen on the earth, which the Lord's wrath is going to come. And it's going to be horrible, man. It, it ain't light. It ain't easy, man. It ain't going to be easy treading these waters. Okay. It's strictly a straight gate. All right, one path, one way, and you got to go through it. It's not going to be easy, man. So that's why, let me read this last two verses of Hebrews 10 and 38. I start there. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Verse 39, but we are not of them. Notice it says them who draw back into perdition, but of them who that believe to the saving of souls all right we are of them who the lord called the elect which i hope and pray that i'm a part of man you know we give our life for this truth so i hope the lord show mercy unto me you know and, and my loved ones and who i pray for you brethren out there who do the same for the lord's elect you know so i'm gonna read that one more time it says but we are not of them who draw back into perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. All right. Who believes of uh, who is of who is them that is a believing to the saving of soul? That'll be the elect that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will save. All right. The men, you know, women, the elect of the Lord, man. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole for life. Shalom.